everyone, this is Asino Lolly, or just Lolly as I would prefer. Today I'm going to do a open canvas tutorial. Uh, right now I'm only doing the 1.1 version. Uh, there are a lot of other versions of open canvas, but I prefer the original one. Uh, I like its simplicity and I just can't handle the complexity of the others. Um, so I have no idea how to control those to be honest. So. But anyway, I don't need those fancy Photoshop type deals, okay? All right, this is these are the tools I'm going to be using. Well, yeah, for the most part. Okay, so I'll start with a new one. Okay, first layer. I like to do my sketches. I uh, guess I'll do lolly, well, just, yeah, whatever. Okay, uh, sometimes I like to do other colors just to differentiate. Okay. Just sketch out the skeleton, yay. Okay, now I'm going to do another layer, which is new multiply layer, default. And make sure it's highlighted. Now, go to the original one, and then make it more, there we go. Make it less visible. Now go back to the new one. Uh, I usually like to do my outlines in black. I'm kind of lame like that. Okay, with the pen tool, which is my favorite tool, you'll notice that there are two toolbars right here, right? Okay, the bottom one is size. Bam. Woo. Okay. The top one has to do with the roundness. See? The more it goes up, the more round it is. I like to have mine on the very bottom to give it that stroke. Oh, by the way, I use a tablet, so I have the advantage of uh, strokes. Uh, it, by the way, if you use a mouse, I have no idea how we can really deal with this. Let me. Yeah, it doesn't really work with a mouse. Not really. Crap. I don't know what to say to those people. But if you have a tablet, then you should be fine. Okay. I like to have my outlines in a very thin way, thin size. Okay, just this quick sketch. Okay, I'm kind of nervous, so it's going to be a little bit jittery. Woo! Ah, uh, the oh, whatever. Okay. Do, 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 do. Tenna, wings. <laughs> okay. Alright. Tongue. Ah, screw that. Okay. Um. Alright. Now that my outline is done, I go up to the face thing on the layer, click that to make the original layer go away. Now add in another one, another default. Now this one is going to be the color. Unfortunately with this version of a canvas, I don't know about the others, but uh, this you can't name your layers. I wish you could so that I can keep track of them a little bit better, but whatever. It's cool. Okay, for this one I like to do the base layer first. Uh, well, I'll use teal, so there we go. And with this one I like to use the pen tool, just make it large, you know, just kind of slap it on there. Don't worry about being messy. Well, then again, I'm kind of a messy person when it comes to coloring, but whatever. Okay? Alright, now, here comes the fun part. Now, go to this one's the watercolor tool. With this one, you can do a lot of cool stuff with. Um, but it, it has this, like, unique blending, uh, what was I saying? Whatever has a unique like blending type technique to it so I don't really mess with this I don't even know what that is I've been using this for years and never bothered experimenting with that okay with these again that has to do with stroke and uh, this one has to do with transparency notice the difference one's more solid than the other okay now on to coloring uh, I like to have crazy colors with my drawings. I don't know why. I guess it's just part of my style. 
Um, I just like to mess with them, so I guess purple-ish type color would be fine. Okay, now. Oh, point out your light source. It helps having that stupid area up there. Do 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 do. Just shade in where you think shading should go. La 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 la. Okay. Oh my God, is this boring yet? Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna get too crazy with this one since it's just a tutorial, but usually I have like five different colors going on because I'm just, I don't know why I do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, now back to the pen tool right here. I have different sizes. You Good for you. Okay. Now, have it on stroke, the very, uh, to the extreme left, and then make sure it's on trans disable transparency. This way you can have those stro solid strokes I use have. Okay. Now, okay, uh, the key to this is using an eyedropper. Okay, every time you see even the slightest bit of, even when you see the slightest bit of different color, you use the eyedropper on it. I like to use the little tab on my uh, tablet pen. Uh, but s I've heard some people use like just either do it manually here or do a uh, like a button like I don't know which buttons I mean uh God I don't remember I don't know remember what the eyedropper uh, shortcut is on the keyboard but I've heard it's there somewhere but yeah eyedropper is the key for making the style work. But I'm lazy and I just like to use my tablet pen, so yeah. Okay, since she has fur, I like to make strokes outward like this. Okay, this is going to be a little bit sloppy because I'm still nervous. But you get the idea at least. See? See the strokes? <sighs> hmm, that's chest first, so good should be going out here. Something like that. See how much more cleaner it is than if I had just left the watercolor like this. And to be honest, I pretty much recently uh, discovered this style. Style. Um, so I, I too am experimenting, experimenting with it still. So I'm still learning about it. I'm not sure if anybody else does this type thing, but uh, yeah, see how much more cleaner it is now. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I like to steal uh, colors from other parts and just slop it somewhere else. Uh, a, a major thing with also another major thing with this uh, style is that you gotta be really lenient with the color. You gotta just let go and just do whatever. You can't really plan it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can plan it, but I don't know if it would be that much fun. I don't know. I have still yet to actually get into that, but, uh... Okay... Eh, that came out kind of weird, but, uh... But yeah, hopefully you guys get a much better idea of it now 
from aside from my other fail tutorial that I just kind of messed around and didn't talk at all about it. But hopefully you guys will know how to do this style a lot better now. Okay. I hope this tutorial helped at least somebody out there. <laughs> Later.